Honourable members, please. Honourable members, may we have some order in the house. Honourable members, this is my response to what happened two days ago. And I don't think this is subject to debate. It's a communication to the House, and by our standing orders, it's information I have to give you, and I've done so according to my understanding of the law. Please, uh, Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, with respect, I thank you for the opportunity to make comments. On the communication you have just delivered to the house. May you kindly refer to the standing order? Mr. Speaker, I do not command any standing orders. So you may resume your seat then. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, you are you are the father of this house. And Mr. Speaker, you you have you have communicated to the house a position you've taken. It's been our practice that any time you have come out with a formal communication, you give opportunity to leadership to make a response. Mr. Speaker, if today you do not want me to talk, Mr. Speaker, that should be it. But Mr. Speaker, if you say that... Honor, honorable authority, member, honorable member, you got it wrong. It's not the practice of the house that any time I come with a formal communication, I allow members to make comments. That's not the practice of the House. It's never been the practice no, 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 no. of any of the houses that I have been member from 1993 to date. I have not had that as any practice of the House. Some speakers, including myself, may entertain some comments from members but it is not a practice of the House. Mr. Speaker, if it pleases you, I would like to make some few comments on the matters you've raised, because, Mr. Speaker, these are very grave matters. The matters you've raised are not light matters. They are very grave matters that I would want to comment. And, Mr. Speaker, So please, you want to seek my leave to make comments? That is so, respectfully. Now you agree it's not the practice, Mr. but Speaker, you are just seeking my leave. Mr. Speaker, as it pleases you, with your leave. With your leave. Well, yes, you may do so. Mr. Speaker, thank you once again for the leave granted me to comment on your communication you just delivered. Mr. Speaker, you underscored your submissions with a very important point that the matter that came before us has interpretation, interpretation <coughs> reliefs, and that you do not have the power to interpret the Constitution, and that your duty is to enforce. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Member, you are not listening to me. 
Mr. Speaker, may I finish with respect? All what you said are wrong, so Mr. I Speaker, cannot continue to allow Mr. you Speaker, to keep on misleading Speaker, the House. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, please, if, if, if you think that this is your house and you didn't want us to talk, so be, Mr. Speaker, we should have Honorable to speak. Majority Leader, you are addressing the Speaker. But Mr. Speaker, you may I need your protection. They must stop what they are doing. I am in charge. Mr. Speaker, then Anytime, they may be quiet. Please. Please. Mr. Speaker, with respect, in your, in, your, in your ruling, my understanding was to the effect that your duty is not to interpret the Constitution. My understanding was to the effect that your duty is not to interpret the Constitution. But Mr. Speaker, it is important for me to emphasize one more time that when the statement was made by my respected colleague, Dr. Kiesel Atufosu, I did draw the attention of the House, including your good self, to the effect that the matter being a very grave matter, I have taken it upon myself to seek the court's interpretation of the matter. Mr. Speaker, indeed. Mr. Speaker, I, I think I, I think I think Honourable I deserve members, some respect. Please, Mr. Speaker, let's I think I deserve other. some respect. Let's listen to each other. Please. No, no, I, I think I think it is only fair. Honourable Majority Leader, please address me. I'm taking care of that. Please Mr. let's Speaker, listen to each other. I did indicate that I have filed a process at the Supreme Court. And indeed, Mr. Speaker, the belief of the court had attempted to serve the process on the Director of Legal Affairs and the Director of Legal Affairs and the entire Legal Directorate refused service because according to them there was a circular stating that they can only be served on Mondays. I saw the circular myself. Subsequent to that, I asked hearing the intention of Mr. Speaker to come to a determination in one way or the other, the directed service, which is within my rights, my, my, Mr. Speaker, yesterday, yesterday, Parliament was duly said. Honourable Member, please, I didn't want to interrupt you, but you are the the majority leader and the leader of this house. As at the time you were directing service yourself, you took the trouble of coming to parliament with two persons who alleged to be bailiffs and went to the legal office and went to the legal office to yourself, directing officials of the legal office to receive the service. You are a member of parliament. I am the speaker. It is my duty to protect your privileges and immunities. In, the, in doing so, I had the discussion with the Chief Justice, and we came to an understanding that in the meantime, the Chief Justice will issue a directive as to how service of members of parliament, some officers of parliament, and the speaker could be effected. I communicated this to the House and discussed it with you, the leaders. We said that as we go along, we will together, parliament and the judiciary, particularly led by the Supreme Court, come out with a legislation on this issue of privileges and immunities of parliament, members of parliament, and specified officials of parliament. We discussed this. Based on this discussion, the Chief Justice issued a directive to all registries of courts in the country. And it is stated clearly there that the speaker can be saved on Mondays, the 
during working hours. There were reasons why we came to those agreements. You are aware of it. Yet, you kept on insisting that service be effected whilst the speaker was presiding over the proceedings of the house. You as leader of the house, as majority leader, you are saying that this was service because you threw the court processes on the table and walked away? Is that how you effect service? Please, Mr. to quote the common parlance, don't go there. Uh, with respect, for the past 12 years, I have accorded you every respect, and I'll continue to do that. Mr. Speaker, the facts you put out are not true. Mr. Speaker, these are credibility issues, so I will respond honorable, for the record. Honorable, honorable. Mr. Speaker, somebody has told you something. Mr. Speaker, you reserve the right to be there to make your point. Let me make my point too. Mr. Speaker, no way. Mr. Speaker, no way. I will... Mr. Speaker, whoever told you, Mr. Speaker, whoever told you that I threw a paper at somebody, this has to do with my credibility. I will not allow her. No, honorable member, you don't listen at all. Mr. Speaker, I do. I never said Mr. you. Mr. Speaker, you said. I, I never let... said you threw a paper at anybody. Mr. Speaker. I Mr. Never Speaker, said that. that's exactly what you said. Let the answer check it. You Mr. See, Speaker, that is what you said. You are being carried away by your Mr. anger. Speaker, you are not I'm listening. Not Mr. Speaker, I'm not angry. Honorable all. member. Honorable member. Mr. Speaker, I'm not angry. I said the court process yes. was thrown on the table in the office. I never stated it was thrown by you at any person. Mr. Speaker, you said it, I allegedly said some, some bailiffs. Alleged I, I, bailiffs. I, I, Mr. No, 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 no. Mr. Speaker, then clarify. Mr. Please. Speaker, Mr. Speaker with listen respect, to me. Mr. Speaker, listen. Honorable Majority Leader, I don't want to proceed to make some orders. Please resume your seat. I'm very serious about that. Mr. Speaker, Mr. please resume your seat. Honorable member, honorable member, your, your, your. Shadows. We have Parliament now, elect with the executive. Honorable members, please kindly resume your seat. Minority leader. Right, Honorable Speaker. The Speaker, first, let me start by expressing our profound gratitude for your erudite ruling on this very important matter of national interest. The Speaker, you have indeed done what is right for the people of Ghana by sticking to the tenets of Ghana's constitution, our standing order, 
and time-tested precedent being a case law for this House. So, Speaker, permit me to congratulate the NDC Majority Caucus for standing firm from day one, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Member, just a moment. I can see a cluster of some members at one corner of the chamber. Please, honorable members, either you resume your seats or you move out of the chamber of parliament. Please, honorable members, can you hear me? Please, Marshal, kindly perform your duty. <laughs> 